There's no bull about it. You're being milked out of tens of thousands of dollars. And that's got Waste Watch investigator Brooks Jarose following the money tonight. Brooks, what's it about? Well, it's bucks for bulls that's actually a cash cow. But the most surprising part may be where it's being used. It may look and smell like your average farm, but this one you're paying for because this one's at a prison. I've been locked up for five years. Just a few hundred feet from their cells, inmates like Charles Warren. I had an aggravated robbery. That's, that was my original uh, charge. Spend the morning at the London Dairy Farm, milking and cleaning. Coming to prison. He never thought he'd be caring for cows it's um it's not a it's not a it's not a good it's not a good thing but you have to make the best out of your situation so that's what i've done we may not be putting farmers on the street we're teaching guys to work and while the inmates do the dirty work there's a more scientific operation happening here it's locked away and comes inside this cold canister we got several different bowls in each canister so they, they get numbers and their names on top, and I got to find the right one. Not the entire animal. And pull it out and thaw it out. But straws of bull semen. Believe it or not, $150,000 of your money was just approved to artificially inseminate hundreds of cows in the state prison system. Just this year, well over $15,000 has already been spent at this farm to keep these cows pregnant. 150000 is a big number. That is two years worth divided amongst five dairies. And once you break that down, um, it's industry standard. Staff members are trained on breeding to save some cash. Still, this process and each service costs about 23 bucks. Spend $20 on a straw soon and you get a calf on the ground that's worth $150. There's no guarantees, but farmers say by the second or third try... And she is pregnant. The other cows are milked daily. Last year, nearly 1.8 million gallons of milk were produced for prisons across Ohio. Inmates feed, care, and clean the stalls. She's skittish. Veterinarians like Dr. Troy Brick from the Ohio State University are paid to check out the cow's progress. But not all news is good news. This is one of those, I'm going to say, rechecker. Brick educates students, inmates, and staff here, and it's all hands-on. What I do now, I love. I get to teach and I get to practice. I've uh, become quite the cowboy. <laughs> Since I've been out here, I, I can say that. It's been happening for decades at this farm, saving the state thousands for meat and milk to feed prisoners. It starts with $150,000 for those precious straws of semen. It's a pretty common thing, really, across the nation. Housed behind the razor wire, from the canister to the cow to calf conception. It's the circle of life. After this, I don't want to see a cow. <laughs> <laughs> now, the inmates have to reach a certain security level before they can work on the farm, and many times it's not by choice. They're forced to do the work. Sure, as will happen in prison. Right, but, uh, right. You went out to actually, I think, probably to look and see if money was being wasted here and found out that this was making some money. How much? Right, well, we saw that the state controlling board approved that $150,000 for bull semen. We yes. thought, what's going on here? A lot of here? money, yeah. And we found out that there are several hundred thousand dollars that are being saved because all of the meat, all of the milk, everything is being put right back into the prison system, and that's what the inmates eat, okay. and that's what the inmates drink. So it's really a savings to all of us. Right. I wonder if the ones who are out there on the farm working it, if they maybe don't want to eat it or drink the milk. Sure, <laughs> I'm yeah. just wondering, you know, if yeah. you're a part of the process. Well, the interesting thing is that semen is actually, they use traits and genes and, and kind of manipulate that so you get the best quality cow, believe it or not. Those cows look terrific. The they really look the like they do. Well cared for. Wow. And uh, while the inmates probably don't enjoy doing the work, mm -hmm. it gives them that work ethic and they hope that they will then go out and make a difference in absolutely, their life. Absolutely, absolutely. So how many states do this? You know, I, I know there are some neighboring states that actu actually have farms. I am not sure whether or not they do the artificial insemination, but as you heard there, it is kind of becoming a standard thing in that industry, in farming. All right, well, thank you, Brooks. You're welcome. Brooks, interesting, thank you. Um, if you have a